Hi everyone, Kristen here from scrapbookingtheeasyway.com. Today I'm going to show you how to use your Cricut and your Shortcuts a lot together to go ahead and make a quick football jersey. Now you'll see that I'm using three colors, a red, a white, and a blue all on the same mat. Because I need a small item, I've used four by six cardstock. This saves me time. I don't have to load three separate pieces and run three separate items through the Cricut at the same time. That's the beauty of Shortcuts a lot. You know where exactly where you're placing things on the paper. So first we'll load the paper up here and then I will show you how to put this through on your shortcuts a lot. Okay, so we now have opened up our shortcuts a lot and I want to import my files so that I can print them off on my Cricut. File, import SVG and I'm going to pick a blank hockey top. I'm going to drag it over here because I want this to be red, which was my first piece of paper on my Cricut. I know it's about four inches wide, so I'm going to just kind of eyeball it here. Now, to get the next graphic, you want to double click so your red cursor is outside of this graphic, otherwise it's going to pop on top of there. Same thing, File, Import, SVG, I'm going to get the bottom. Now, you can look at these numbers to make it the same size. When you have a really simple graphic like this, sometimes it's just easier to, there you go, fit it yourself move it over to where this is going to print off now. I want this on the white, so I'll move it to where I know the white paper is. And again, I used rectangle, so it's easy for you to remember what numbers you're on. Last thing I want to do is print off in white a couple numbers. Now, my son likes all sorts of hockey players, so I'm just going to make up something here. We'll make it number 23. Here's the two double click to get your cursor out of there, import your SVG, number 23. Now these two numbers are the same and they're going to print off on my blue. I want these numbers welded together because frankly when you have something this small it's kind of a pain in the butt to get it off your Cricut mat and put together. So you see I've moved the numbers very closely. Down here I'm, they're touching. I'm going to click weld, I'm going to click on the number 2, and I'm going to click weld. Now what will happen is I'm going to print this page and each of these elements will print off on their own piece of paper but on one mat. So we're going to do file, actually you can just click the scissors, cut with the Cricut. It will ask you what machine you're using. I have a Cricut Create. I'm going to click OK. It asks some other things. You have to have this type of firmware. I click OK and it's cutting. I'll come back when it's finished. Okay, you see that cutting has completed, so I click OK, and I'm going to save this in case I want to use it in the future, so I'll just say File, Save Project As, and I'm going to just pick a uh, football jersey and put that in my Shortcuts A Lot file, so I have it for future use. I will show you what the finished item looks like in just a moment here. Everything's finished. You see that we have the red jersey with the cutouts the white background and the number. All you have to do to put this in your scrapbook now is to put the three pieces together, which is very simple to do obviously. Layer them on top of each other and you're finished. You have a great jersey. You could do these for hockey teams, football teams, soccer teams. You could put numbers, you could put a name across the front, a team logo if you have that, anything that works for you. Another great video here for you from scrapbookingtheeasyway.com.